Hello, Anacaps here. Shinichi Kanu, who is a great anime and manga fan, takes an online test with a bid for a job which he passes with a perfect score. After passing the test, Shinichi greets his new book employer Jinzabiru Matoba, who then drugs Shinichi and makes him unconscious. While Shinichi was unconscious, he sees a flashback where he was being rejected by a girl. He then wakes in a new world where he meets Musil Foran, his maid, and Minori Kaganuma, his bodyguard. They tell Shinichi that he is in Lakato's forest and give him a ring that is used for communication. Matoba tells Shinichi about the hole in Mount Fuji, which connects our world to the other world, and we provide anime and manga to the other world for entertainment. He further declares Shinichi as the general manager. After that, Shinichi notices that Musil is a half elf. He then teaches her how to read as she doesn't know how to read and write. Later, Musil introduces Shinichi to his servant, Brooke Darwin. The next day, Minori and Matoba take Shinichi to meet the Empress, Petrarca and Erudanto III. Shinichi realizes that the Empress is a little girl, and he shoves, causing a scene. The Empress punches Shinichi for that disrespect. Matoba covers Shinichi by giving an excuse. Empress Kozen, Gallius N. Cordable appears, saying that Shinichi could be harmful and toxic to us, and we can't trust someone like that. Shinichi again stands and defends himself against everyone considers it as disrespect, but he somehow manages to overcome that situation. Later at night, Shinichi watches Musil studying, he decides to teach her at night and collect materials for his work during the day. Shinichi takes Brooke and Musil to his research room. While they were in the research room, Empress Petrarca suddenly appears and sees otaku culture. She then orders everyone to leave the room, but Musil stays. Shinichi begins reading manga and asks Musil to read it. This makes Petrarca jealous, so she orders Musil to go and get a cup of tea. Shinichi continued reading the manga until Petrarca gets satisfied and left. The next day, Shinichi decides to visit the city for his research and realizes that majority of the population doesn't know how to read and the children, instead of studying, are getting trained to fight. When Shinichi gets back, he finds Petrarca there. She insults Musil and orders Shinichi to teach her the Japanese. After that, Petrarca started coming regularly. Shinichi starts building a school where he can teach Japanese to everyone. Petrarca realizes that Shinichi is a good guy and tells him that she is enjoying himself with him. In reply, Shinichi also tells her that he is also having fun because of her. This makes Petrarca angry and she leaves. After that, Minori aware, Shinichi, that this world has a feudal system and you are changing it, and this may cause trouble for them. Meanwhile, Musa learns Japanese. She asks Shinichi to take her with him when he leaves, but he tries to ignore that. The other day, when Petrarca was yelling at Shinichi and Musil, a gang calling themselves Guardians comes and catches them along with Minori. They do this because of the change cultural system that Shinichi has introduced. The leader of that gang makes all of them his hostages. However, they manage to run from there, but in return, Musil gets seriously injured. After a month, she gets perfectly fine. Shinichi starts teaching in the school, although he was teaching some inappropriate words, so Minori shifts with him. However, she was also doing it wrong. On their way home, Minori gets an alarm and she notices that something is fishy. They both get there to check and find a beast girl, Elbia Henneman. Elbia tells them that she is an artist, but Minori resists to admit and calls her a spy. Guards consider Elbia. Petrarca calls Shinichi, Musil, and Minori to his castle, asking them about the current situation. Gallius decides to execute Elbia, considering her a spy, but Shinichi somehow saves her by saying that if she's a spy, we will control her and she will report what we will tell her. Shinichi then starts dealing with Elbia. The next day, after giving the lecture to the students, Shinichi goes back home and meets Musil. She tells him as she wanted Elbia to help him. So that's why she is doing all the unnecessary work. He appreciates her and starts helping her. Later that night, Elbia didn't come to dinner. Shinichi notices that she is acting weirdly. This all makes him think that she is a spy hiding behind the beast getup. That night, he has a dream that Elbia is trying to kill him. He wakes and sees Elbia sitting on him, but instead of killing, she starts licking him. After that, she starts apologizing for her recent wired behavior. Shinichi wants Musil to teach in the school, so he asks Petrarca for permission, which she grants. While they were in the warehouse, Elbia finds a golden ball and she starts playing with that. However, Musil stopped him with his magic. This brings an idea to Shinichi and he asks Petrarca to conduct a soccer match. According to him, doing this will build good relations between elves and dwarfs. She agrees with his idea and approves. Now the match is to be conducted in a week. This boosts everyone and they start practicing. On the day of the match, dwarfs seem to surpass elves in strength, and the first half of the match was won by the dwarfs. The second half begins and the elves were allowed to use their magic in the game. This made the game interesting. The score was tied when both teams were exhausted. Petrarca jumps in and goals for the elves. This ties the match as the elves won the second half. 
Shinichi shouts at Matoba because he had requested particular anime and manga for the students, but Matoba keeps sending him the wrong ones. So he decides to go and buy by himself. Shinichi requests Matoba that he wants to take Musil with him, but he declines. However, Musil hides in a bag and comes to Japan with Shinichi. He takes her to Akiba, and she gets excited and enjoys the day by visiting many places. At night, Shinichi goes to buy panties for Musil while she was taking a bath, but when he gets back home, he finds Musil sleeping. Meanwhile, when all this was happening, Petrarca notices that Shinichi had left for Japan, which makes her angry, as she was doing her work just to meet him. The next day, Shinichi finds himself back in that world, though he hasn't bought any learning material for the students. Matoba further tells him about the loss that they have suffered because of his negligence. Petrarca suddenly disappears from her room, Shinichi and the other starts looking for her, and he discovers her sleeping inside a box. Petrarca wakes and sees Shinichi and Gallius near him, and she leaves and locks her inside his room. Gallius tells Shinichi that Petrarca's parents were killed by my parents, and she was very little when this happened. Shinichi gets inside her room and shows her how the real shut-in works. He then teaches her the rules of shut-in and stays there at night. This makes his home mates curious, especially Musil. Meanwhile, Shinichi and Petrarca continue their shut-in. He then tells her that he was rejected by his school friend, which broke him, and he started doing shut-in. This makes Petrarca think that she isn't worthy of being the Empress. The next day in the morning, Petrarca realizes that she should end this shut-in, and should continue leading her nation. Musil starts teaching the students. Pataba tells Shinichi and Minori that they have official vacations and Galliest tells them about a place near the lake where they can spend their vacations, they start their vacations. Shinichi gets excited when he sees the girls in their swimsuits. He and Musil begin playing in the lake. When they were having their lunch, an elf appears shouting that Rumilda is in danger. Minori thought that it should be the work of the gang members that attacked them before, Elbia sketches the creature that the elf has sawn, and they all decide to save Rumilda, and attacks that creature results in saving Rumilda. After that, it was discovered that they weren't any creatures but members of the army hiding in a ghillie suit who were taking private pictures of the girls. Meanwhile, a committee was being set up for Petrarca's swimsuit, they were giving serious thoughts about the swimsuits and finally came up with a perfect swimsuit for the Empress. Shinichi sees Minori in a maid's suite. Minori then tells him about the incident between her and Musil. Mataba appears and tells them about some problem Shinichi in response decides to do a movie, featuring Petrarca, Gallius, and others. During filming, they need a dragon for a scene, Minori with the others gets inside a dragon cave and gets attacked by the dragon, but she manages to capture it. The dragon attacks because of Minori's spray during the scene, and this frightens everyone. The army attacks the dragon with guns and tanks making him leave that place. Petrarca thought that all this was a part of the film and enjoys the scene. She thanks Shinichi for everything and repays him in the form of a kiss. On the day of the screening, when everyone was enjoying the film, Petrarca gets embraced after watching herself on screen and gives an order to stop the film. Mataba appreciates Shinichi while Minori continues spraying herself. A student comes and shows his work to Shinichi which he likes. Shinichi tells Musil that he is appreciated for the good work and tells her that he couldn't do this all alone. This makes Musil happy. The next day, he sees Elbia's drawing which he likes and appreciates. He and Minori watch a student laughing all alone in the class, Shinichi goes and talks with him. Mataba reveals his main plan to Shinichi that he and the government are aiming to neutralize this world by introducing Japanese culture, which will affect them in a bad way. He further tells them that by doing this we will control this world. Shinichi realizes that he was just being used by that Japanese government, he gets angry and yells at Matoba, but in reply Matoba makes him clear that the government will kill him if he tries to interfere. Shinichi gets on his knees. Minori explains to him that this world is just like a treasure to our government and other countries are unaware of this world, making them aware means causing a war. Shinichi feels guilty because he was the one who has attracted all the people of this world to the Japanese culture. They meet Petrarca the other day, Minori notifies Mataba about the meeting. This makes Mataba think that he should shift Shinichi with someone other. At that night, Shinichi sees Musil in the kitchen she was making dinner for him. Then he tells her that he has been sent here as an invader and now he should leave, Musil starts crying and says Shinichi to stay here. In meeting with the Empress, he gives his point of view to Petrarca that we shouldn't rely on Japanese government and should produce manga and anime here. This shocks everyone there, especially Mataba and Minori. He then shows Elbia's drawing and says that if we have more artists like that then we are completely qualified for producing manga and anime. Everyone except for Mataba appreciates Shinichi's idea. Later that night, some people came to Shinichi's room to kill him but were ambushed by the elf maids. Petrarca calls Mataba and asks for this misbehavior, he apologizes giving a fake excuse, 
And he also tells her that the government of Japan will punish the people who are responsible for all this. From then on, things were pretty quiet. Shinichi was being guarded by an elves made bodyguard. Minori tells Shinichi that she can't go any further with him. Suddenly, a maid guard comes to Petrarca, telling her that they have been attacked, and the castle's outlaw has been destroyed, and the school has also been attacked. Shinichi runs toward the incident to save the magazines, but there's some guys neutralize him and leaves him to die. Elbia, Musel, and Brooke come to his rescue. Minori also arrives there, and they all say Shinichi. Mataba shows up, and Shinichi requests him to let him talk with the higher ranks. He then speaks with the upper rank. He has hidden Petrarca's secret owl in the bag, through which Petrarca can listen to everything and realizes that the Japanese are just using them. She then arrives by herself and tells the upper rank that if anything happens to Shinichi, we will end up all the relations with Japan. This solves the problem. In the end, Shinchai starts working and continues his job as a teacher. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and leave a like.